So you just got a new interactive whiteboard in your classroom. What do you do with it? It's not just a chalkboard. It can do so much more. So let's take a look at how you can create very quickly interactive lessons using my view board for Android. We're going to start by opening the program and we're going to need to sign in. If you haven't already, go to myviewboard.com and sign up for an account. Download the companion app for your phone and then sign in with that account. On the companion app, you can see that I have a QR code scanner. When I touch that, I can scan the QR code and sign into the software. From here, let's just make a basic lesson. I have a pen tool, I have text tool, I can add all that. But let's start with media and content. I'm going to open what's called the embed browser here. This is going to give me access to the web without leaving the program. Super beneficial if you've ever switched devices trying to get different kinds of content at once. This is going to open up a Google search result. So we're going to do a lesson here on lightning. A quick search here will take me to various pages about lightning, such as the overview and a definition from Wikipedia. We're going to open this page. And then we're going to do just a touch and drag to highlight this text. So you can see here I can copy the definition from the browser and then do a copy. When I did that copy, the paste button here highlighted. So when I touch it, it now pastes my text directly onto the canvas. Let's go to the magic box, which is here in the main toolbar, and let's add an image. So I'm going to open up the images. This is going to do a filtered Google search. And we're going to search for a picture of lightning. Once your images load, you can look at the resolution size to determine how big the image is. But when you're ready to use it, simply do a double tap and it will download and paste that image onto your canvas. To move an image, simply touch it and then drag. If you need to resize the images, you can use two fingers to pinch and zoom to make the images bigger or smaller. The next piece we're going to do is we're going to add a video. Going back to the magic box, we're going to go to YouTube, and then we're going to do a search for lightning. Just like before with the images, you're going to double tap whatever video you want to use, like this one, which is lightning strikes at super slow motion. You'll notice that the video is actually embedded on the page, and when I play it, it plays it in the window. I can make the video full screen here so it's easier for everyone to see, or I can minimize it back down to its original size. We were able to add text, images, and a video very quickly, but what about saving it? Down here is your folder management. This is going to allow me to save this directly to my cloud storage. That's why it's so important to sign into the software and have a myviewboard.com account, because that's how you get your cloud integration. So from here, I can choose what folder I want to save this lesson in, and then I can give it a name. That uploads it to the cloud, so if I had that folder shared with other teachers, they could actually use that lesson as well. Next time I sign in and I need to open this lesson, I just go back to folder management, and this time, doing reverse, open the file, and everything that you see here, including the YouTube video, syncs. This is a great way to make quick, easy to engage with lessons for you and for the kids. If you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of content, and we'd love for you to explore it all. Also, be sure to follow us on social media, especially our Twitter. We're at MyViewBoard. Also, if you want more information, check out the description, get in contact with someone. We'd love to hear about what you're doing with your school and how we can support you.